Welcome back, folks. Red Rupee here with another in our line of the Iron, Iron Harvest, Harvest Platinum, Platinum series, series, where we get those sweet, sweet Platinum medals. Now, I know we already did this one, but I did it very complex, and a lot of people were saying they were intimidated by the run, so shout out to the Vaughn over there in the Iron Harvest Discord. He clued me in on the sweet, uh, easy mode run where we're pretty much just going to tur our way to victory. If you're having a good time on the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Follow me on Twitch as well. We do Iron Harvest live streams, gameplay, tournament coverage, you name it. Now, in the opening engagements, what we're going to do is build a Strasnik, clear the iron mine, and some of the other opening points. And what I'm going to try to do is actually just parse all this out into individual waves. So you can follow along if you want. This should just be a step-by-step, wave-by-wave guide. So you don't have to be quite as aggressive as I am in the opening here. But if you want to, you can go over to the northeast and with a couple grenades, easily take this first engagement. Now, don't worry about the first wave. They can't really threaten your barracks. But uh, after this, it will deviate from the guide we put out earlier. So take these guys out, steal that sweet AT gun, because who wants to build your own AT gun when you can just take it from the enemy, right? So steal that, and let's get ready for wave number one. You're going to have to defend your iron mine. You'll see where that is. We're going to defend easily with the Straz. It's only a couple small infantry, and uh, we're going to grab ourselves an engineer. Now... If you don't steal that AT gun at the beginning, you can easily defend this wave and go snag it after this. So don't worry about it, uh, but you can see my barracks is a little low here. It took me a little long to get back, but you've got plenty of time to like go get the AT gun or defend. The rifles are over there. You see that's an easy defense on the iron mine. Now objective two, uh, we're going we're gonna to defend again. And uh, at this point, we're going to upgrade our workshop and save up for a tur for wave number three. And again, this is just a bunch of infantry. You can see the Straz will handle this no problem. We're playing this back a little quick just so you can see the general idea of the defense. We wanted to keep this guide a little short so you can just hop in, check for the next wave, hop back out, get your stuff done. And uh, man, the Straz just shreds infantry. I love the Strasnik so much. I know I always say it, but uh, man, what an awesome little bot. Best mech, maybe so. All right, now, uh, here's a fun little thing you can do. Speaking of Straz shenanigans, you can actually take the southern mine, or I guess rather it's an oil pump, but you can take the whole thing with just the Straznik. Now the Straznik, you can see uh, that tree and rock there are actually line of sight blockers. So you have to you have to micro a bit, but you can just keep dodging. See how they're trying to set up the MG gun, and I'm just denying them time and time again. They're trying so hard to shoot at the Straznik, and I'm just keeping him on the opposite side of the tree. So you can use the Straz to actually take out this whole thing and uh, eventually just decrew the MG and then you can just send a couple squads down to steal the MG and uh, take the iron mine all on your own. You can grab those extra resources, take the iron mine, get a free MG out of it because who wants to build extra squads and extra weaponry when again you just take it from the enemy because the only thing we want to build is turrs because wave three it's tur time. Now that we have our tur we can start upgrading our points. Uh, we can go snag that MG, and uh, all that's down here is some infantry and a Grimbart. So we're just going to get ready for Wave 4, smash all this stuff. Anything you haven't been doing, you can, uh, you've can. you got time here. This is a pretty quick wave, so you got plenty of time to run around the map and do what you want for Wave 4. Now, Wave 4 is one of the trickier waves. It's got a lot of stuff coming in from different directions. You want to make sure your engagement on the west is tight because the Isagrim can actually do a lot of damage. So make sure you've got that tight, but you can see even here... I didn't even have my turret down here. I was all goofing around somewhere else, and the AT gun handled it pretty well. A couple of my squads got quite low, though, so if the turret's there, it'll be no problem. Uh, make sure you're salvaging wrecks, too. Salvaging wrecks gets you a lot of extra resources, all that kind of stuff, and resources are one of the main objectives. You don't want to blast through this whole mission and then lose because you didn't get enough resources. So make sure you upgrade your resource points when you get the chance. Make sure you're salvaging those wrecks and uh, get ready to pump out some more turrets. Up north, we've got some infantry and uh, Eisenhans, but, uh, you know, you can stall the infantry point just by shooting at them a little bit. That'll distract them and stop the cap. The tur will finish it off, and we're ready for wave five. Once the second tur comes out, we're going to upgrade our barracks uh, and finish off any research points, keep everything repaired, and send a tur to the enemy base. Now, pretty much from here, once you have two turs, it's, uh, it's easy times, man. You can pretty much... 
it's it's hard to mess up at this point. All you have to really do is make sure you're preserving your squads, and especially with this guide here, you're going to know exactly where everything's coming from, so you can prepare your defenses for every wave, and uh, it's going to be easy. See, this turret can just attack move over here. Meanwhile, you can see the turret's just wrecking the base. No problem. It's time for wave six. You can A move this turret and then start focusing on your defense. We're going to have uh, a lot come in from the west again. Isagrim, Grimbart, Eisenhans, and uh, the Tur and the AT guns should be fine over here if you manage to grab that MG gun as well. Uh, it's going to suppress any any remaining infantry, but nothing from this wave can really touch the Tur, honestly. Uh, the Eisenhans will, will contribute a little bit. Just make sure the Eisenhans aren't hitting your setup teams. Uh, and, and we're just going to make sure, yep, still destroying the base. No problem. Sometimes some cannon troops will pop out over there, so make sure you kill those cannon troops if they're harassing your turret on the far side. Keep an eye on your health bars down bottom. That's really all you have to do. And you can see, yeah, the Grim, the, the, the Eisenhans try, trying to break my field teams, so make sure your field teams are staying healthy. Uh, everything's elite now, though, already, and we're only halfway through, so without any elite opponents in this matchup, it, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a cakewalk from here. Now to get an extra third tur out, if you have three infantry squads and our setup teams, you can actually hop off the setup teams. That takes you down to 33. Then you go the tur, go back up to 40, hop back on the weapons teams, and that and weapons teams take one pop for whatever reason. I don't know why that's how it works, but you can kind of cheat the system a little bit by hopping off your weapon teams and squeezing out a second tur. You see we're at 42 of 40 and. Uh, while you're doing all that, the base will be pretty much done. We've got our secondary objective finished, and it's only wave number six. So we're looking awesome for this run through. Wave seven! You laugh in turf superiority because all that's coming now, infantry and a Votan up north. And uh, one turret can handle this. You can even, I have the light MGs over here. But uh, I, I, I don't know. I keep messing around in these runs and almost losing squads. So you don't have to, don't, don't necessarily follow me. But that's an easy enough squad. The Turk can handle that on its own, honestly. And uh, Wave 8's a big one. Wave 8 has stuff coming in from all sides, but you can probably have your third Tur up by the middle of this wave. So, I mean, at this point, just just keep it rolling. Keep smashing everything. Uh, there's turn number 3. You can send it up north. There's not much coming from the north there. And uh, even, even if you want to at this point, you can start getting wacky with it and uh, push into the upper oil so yeah you can see it's just a bunch of infantry and you're, you're, you're just I, I don't know what to say at this point honestly you've got three turrets uh it should be pretty hard to mess up at, the, at this point so keep rolling with it send your turrets around enjoy uh enjoy that you don't have to micro too hard because this is a much easier run than the one we did before uh th there's there's two big mechs down south but the two turrets you can send those out there and if you have two grenaders left if you have two grenaders, you can actually start pushing up to the north if you want to get wacky. If you're looking for something to spend your micro on, you can actually just take two grenades. Two grenades will decrew any field weapon if you land them behind the weapon, so you're just going to throw those two grenades back there. They're going to decrew that field cannon. Normally there's a Grimbart up here as well, so just make sure your infantry doesn't die to the Grimbart and get ready for wave 9. Uh, everything comes from the south. Uh, again, at this point, you can make sure you're swinging your AT gun down there. It'll help the turrets out a little bit, but uh, honestly, you, you, you're good to go at this point. You're good to go. Steve Motor, no problem. Grimbart, no problem. Isagrim, no problem. Tur, tur, tur. It's tur power. Easy as that. Now we've got we've got one last wave, and the last wave can be tricky. So you just have to make sure that you keep your infantry away from. That Kaiser. The Kaiser can one-shot infantry squads with their health so low. So if you've lost a couple squads, you just need to make sure that you're actually reserving, preserving your squads. Make sure you use the C key to back up your mechs when they get low. There is an AT gun back there. So you can see I had to pull one of my turrets back. I forgot to hit the C key though, and they turned around ever so slowly. If you've still got your straws, you can send the straws around back, and it'll actually decrew, decrew both of the weapon teams really quick. The Kaiser will pretty much ignore it. The Kaiser's trying to kill the turrets and infantry. So the Straznik can just decrew the AT gun, which is the really the only threat to the turrets is the AT gun. That's the only thing they have a hard time taking out. Their DPS is just low enough, and it doesn't deal too much damage to the AT gun. Uh, you have a Votan. 
and some stuff coming from the north as well, but it's it's all it's all minor stuff. The real focus on wave 10 is that southernmost wave. But honestly, from here, you just sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy that incoming platinum metal. Just uh, uh, that's the trick. Just speed build turns, man. Uh, get the strats down to defend the first couple waves. Get your turns up and uh, get ready for some awesome tur action because there aren't many times you get to build three turns. I think I think you gotta take advantage of the ones you have. Waves survived 10 of 10. Victory is here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Here comes our platinum medal once again. Much easier this time around. I hope you guys liked it. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. You know we got all of it. And you can stop by the streams, hang out live in chat, learn some more strategies, watch some games, and uh, and just just have a good time with some uh, with some Iron Harvest, man. We've got plenty more coming, so stick around the channel. This has been Red Rupee. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so very much for watching. It was great.